like it's annoying. OK. Um, so the main important thing is a complex fraction. The first thing you're going to want to do for every single example you guys do is simplify. Look at every numerator and denominator of each fraction and simplify it. Well, 4x I cannot simplify any further, nor can I simplify x plus 6. However, x squared minus 3x, I do notice that those have an x in common. So I'm going to factor out an x. Does everybody follow me with that? Factor out an x. And then in my bottom, in my, denom in my denominator of my denominator, um, I'm going to factor this in my head, because I told you we're going to start moving quicker. quicker. Yes? Isn't We're like here? I factor out the x, so you can always check your work. If you apply distributive property, x times x gives you x squared. x times negative 3 will give you negative 3x. Got it? So now in this one, though, I'm going to factor using the tree, which we already did that other distributive property. I'm not going to spend time going through that method again. If you need help with that, come and see me. This could be factored into x plus 6, x minus 3. Basically, what I did was I said, what two numbers multiply to give me negative 18 and then add to give me a positive 3? That's how I came up with that. Now, basically, um, what I try to reiterate for everybody is whenever you're, trying to get your whenever you're trying to get a fraction off the denominator, the best thing to do is multiply by its reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply by x minus 3 times x plus 6. x times x minus 3. The reason why multiplying by its reciprocal works is that division property. You guys notice that the division property You can see that the x minus 3 and the x minus 3 divides to 1. x minus 3 and x minus 3 divides to 1. x plus 6 and x plus 6 divides to 1. And the x and the x divides times 1. So anytime you have a rational function or a, uh, or a, um, a fraction in the denominator, yes, question? I multiplied the blue by its reciprocal. So I put the denominator in the numerator. And I put the numerator in the denominator. Anytime you have you know, the reciprocal of 1 fourth is 4 over 1. All I did was flip them and multiply them. But what's nice is multiplying them, since every single expression, do you guys see how all of these are separated by multiplication? They're all separated by multiplication. Each expression is separated by multiplication. So that's why I could um, cr cross out or divide, basically divide to 1. right? However, though, Whatever you do in the denominator, ladies and gentlemen, you have to do in the numerator to produce equivalent fractions. You just can't take 4 over 5 and just multiply the bottom by 2. That's 4 over 10. That's not the same. But if you did 4 over 5 and multiply by 2 over 2, then you'd have 8 over 10, which is the same thing as 4 fifths. Do you guys see that? So I have to multiply by my reciprocal, x minus 3 times x plus 6 over x times x minus 3. And what you guys can see when I now go ahead and do that, they both had an x minus 6. OK, you could have simplified that before, but whatever. Now you can see that by applying the division property, the x plus 6's divide to 1. The x minus 3's, I could have divided earlier, but they are going to divide to 1. And the x over the x divides to 1. Leave me with a final answer of 4. <laughs> Got them? Two names that aren't in there? Yeah. Can you put them right there? OK.